Love is about the exploration of love in a child's life. I was very interested in showing love in unexpected contexts, places that you wouldn't traditionally see it. So the sound of your parents' voices is love. That's not something we normally hear somebody say, but I think it's true. You know, what happens when there's a fall from grace in a child's life and how do they recover love? How do they start to see it differently? We all go through a journey in our life, experiencing love, recognizing love, seeing love in ourselves, and how even with all of our differences in the world, the common thread in our lives is love. The book's important to me because it's hopeful. As the person given the challenge to illustrate it, diving into Matt's words and the profoundness and the themes and the meaning really revealed to me um, the importance of love. So when I originally wrote this book, um, it was just this little poem exploring the idea of love. And it wasn't until I saw Lauren's illustrations that I understood how it's a picture book. And the visual story just blows me away. And I'm so proud to be working with Lauren on this book. This one's my favorite because I think when a child discovers that there's love inside of them, then they're ready to go out into the world. But you can't go out into the world until you can look in the mirror and see love. I'm gonna read a few pages from the book to you now. In a crowded concrete park, you toddle towards summer sprinklers while older kids skip rope and run up the slide. And soon you are running among them and the echo of your laughter is love. One night the fire alarm blares. You're pulled from sleep and whisked out into the street where a quiet old lady is pointing to the sky. Stars shine long after they've flamed out, she tells you, and the shine they shine with is love. One day you find your family nervously huddled around the TV, but when you ask what happened, they answer with silence and shift between you and the screen. In your dream that night, you're searching for a love that seems lost. You open and close drawers, lift cushions, empty old toy bins, but there's nothing. You wake with a start in the arms of a loved one who bends to your ear and whispers, it's okay, it's okay, it's love. What I love about picture books is that you're exploring these things with your child in your lap often, and it's a safe place to explore sometimes things that aren't perfect or aren't beautiful. What I would love for kids to take away from this book is that love isn't just what they experience in their own bubble. They'll see so many different forms of love that they can contribute love, not just passively receive love in your bubble, but they can add love to the world and contribute to it. This message of love is important, especially now. I don't think we tell our kids we love them enough. We're living in divisive times. Uh, every time you turn on the news, it's something negative. We're so caught up in everything that's happening in the world that sometimes I feel like we don't even see our children the way we used to. So I hope this book is, is us seeing them and telling them that we love them.